Steam is one of the world's biggest PC gaming platforms out there and it's also one of the most stable, but that doesn't make it perfect. My name is Adullah, you're watching Candido Technology and in this video we're talking about how you can fix Steam error code E2. Steam generally doesn't run into any issues, but if it does, the E2 is actually quite a simple fix. The first thing that you have to do is check if your internet connection is working. So go ahead and restart your router, run a speed test, uh, something along the lines of on fast.com or any other website. Make sure that you're connected to the internet and that everything is working fine. Uh, you can also check uh, Steam's status. So you can uh, head over to steamstat.us. This is an unofficial website that tracks uh, Steam's statuses. Uh, in different regions and it will show you uh, different games, uh, the Steam store itself and just make sure that everything is up and running and in working order. The next step is to verify game files. So if you're having issues with a specific game, verifying that particular game's game files uh, is also one of your best options. How do we do that? So just head over to Steam. Okay store is not working uh, let's just refresh yeah so head over to your library uh, in here find whatever game you're having problems with so let's say i'm having problems with counter strike what we're going to do is uh, right click counter strike head over to uh, manage or rather properties in here head over to install files and you will see the verify integrity of game files option right here click on it let steam do its thing and it will automatically re-download any missing files or anything of the sort so uh, you should be good to go next up you can also try disabling family sharing on your steam account now to do that uh, click on the steam icon right here and then head over to settings now uh, head over to family tab right here and uh, you will see your uh, family library sharing options right here okay so uh, just click on manage this will take you to the manage fam uh, family sharing page and uh, as you can see you have uh, different uh, devices and their authorization shares and so on and so forth so uh, you can just go ahead and click on cancel to stop sharing your uh, steam library with uh, uh, whatever family members that you have you can revoke uh, any sharing statuses that you may already have with these people and uh, basically just restart steam once you're done with all of this and try again Alright, so if disabling family sharing didn't fix the problem uh, you can also try changing your steam download server uh, once again, this is only going to come in handy if you're facing problems during downloads. So to do that, once again, uh, head over to Steam and click on Settings. Now in here, head over to the Downloads tab and you will see the Download Region setting right here. You can select any region you want, but it's best if you select the download region that's closest to you for the best possible download speed. So you can try switching around uh, uh, in here to see what works for you. Alternatively, you can also come down and clear your download cache, which can sometimes uh, help for downloads to go faster and uh, removes any corrupted files that may be sitting in your cache for way too long. Finally, another possible solution for this is uh, to change Steam permissions. If your Windows uh, account does not have enough permissions to run Steam uh, with all of uh, the permissions that Steam needs, uh, of course, you're going to run into problems. So just press the start menu, search for Steam and uh, go ahead and click on open file location. This will launch the folder with the Steam shortcut. So we're going to right click this and click on file location once again. And now we have the Steam executable file. Uh, right click this uh, head over to properties and then head over to the security tab in here click on your username so um, I'm right here and as you can see I have full control over all of the things that steam does now to change these permissions just go ahead and click the edit button and make sure that you click on uh, allow in front of full control and everything will be checked automatically go ahead and click apply then click ok and you should be good to go Finally, if nothing else works, your best bet is to just go ahead and reinstall Steam altogether. How do we do that? Well, it's very easy. Just right click the start menu icon and head over to installed apps. And uh, in here, just search for Steam. Should show up. Head over to the other end. 
click these three dots click on uninstall windows will give you a warning click uninstall again and wait for the uninstall to finish once it's done go back to the steam website to make sure you download the latest installer version install steam again and this time the error e2 shouldn't show up if you like these videos consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such content can we make for you if you'd like to know more about tech visit our website candy.technology follow us on social media follow me on instagram or twitter and we'll see you in the next video